Hi guys, it is Wendy from Go Ask Alice Designs. Um, this is my first video, so I'm a little nervous, so we'll try to get through this together. Um, so what I do is I love, as you can see behind me, I'm kind of eclectic and a bit of a collector of multiple things. And one of my favorite things to do is to go thrifting. Um, I always tell my husband, at least that's my favorite shopping. Um, I guess it could be Nordstrom's or, you know, someplace more expensive, but I really like to go thrifting. So what I like to do is uh, thrift with my daughter and my best friend Ryan and by myself. <laughs> um, and I collect stuff that way. And then I also kind of DIY and revamp them and uh, figure out a way to move them into my decor. Um, I, my style is a little, um, funky and vintage and boho and eclectic and kind of, um, I don't stick to one style. A lot of people, you know, if you're farmhouse, everything's farmhouse. And if you're, you know, modern, everything's modern. And I'm not like that. If I like it, I put it in my house. So, um, anyway, I'm going to show you a few things that I have, um, thrifted over the last, uh, probably two weeks. Um, I've been thinking about doing videos. I love thrift hauls. I watch them on YouTube all the time. Um, that's kind of my, you know, mindless, uh, turn it on and, and, uh, veg out and watch, you know, DIYs and, um, and, you know, thrifting videos, thrifting hauls. Um, so, um, I just thought I would try and, uh, make one myself and see how it goes. So, um, most of these things I, if I have revamped, um, um, obviously I've taken all the stickers off of them. Um, and then everything else too, I've pretty much taken the stickers off, but I did write down the prices because as soon as I get home, I have a tendency to go ick and want to clean everything. I'm a little bit of a clean freak, so um, my kids would tell you a lot. But anyway, so most of them have been washed and kind of scrubbed and, and through the uh, washing machine. Just kind of, I do that as soon as I get home. So I don't know about you, but I just kind of, you know, um, I don't mind my dirt, but I don't want other people's dirt, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, so here's a few things that I've collected over the last couple weeks. Um, um, like I said, some of them I revamped, some of them I haven't. So um, I guess we can start off. First is this little Fridgy, Pyrex Fridgy. I do collect these. Um, at some point, I'll show you in my kitchen. I just have them stacked inside one another um, without the lids. I just like all the different colors, all the different patterns. Um, so I have, I don't know, maybe 20, um, and I actually have this, um, yellow already twice, but I don't care. Most of my kitchen is kind of in yellows and blues and greens. Those are kind of my favorite colors. So I didn't mind. And, um, it was $2. And so I'm like, um, and I got this at Savers. Um, um, so I mean, for $2, I'm never going to walk away a fridge. I even buy, you know, the dishwasher damaged ones because I kind of feel bad, you know, unless they're super expensive because I kind of feel bad leaving them there. Um, so I even have a couple of really bad red ones that have seen better days, but I put them in my stack and they look cute and, uh, you know, I, I can't leave them. So that's my first little, um, this one's actually in really good shape. Um, it's got one little kind of couple little flea bite bites here, but other than that, it is like in perfect condition. So for two dollars, you really I, I just couldn't leave him behind. So that's my first um little purchase. And then um at the same time I found this little beauty. Um so I actually um I collect this pattern and the crazy daisy um pattern and then um pretty much anything that's blue. Um there's a couple different blue patterns that I collect. But um, I have the butterfly fly, excuse me. I have the butterfly gold butter dish, but I actually didn't have um, this one. So I was really excited to get this, and I believe, um, yeah, it was a dollar ninety nine. Um, 
So I was like, I mean, you can't beat it. So um, this will go in my collection um, with my other lovelies. And um, sometimes I find them in patterns that I don't particularly like, which is, I know I'm probably going to get all kinds of flack, but I really don't like the pink and the turquoise. I know horror. Um, that's everybody's favorite. That's my friend Ryan's favorite is the pink. So if I find anything in pink, I save it for her. But for pretty much, um, if it's something that she already has or anything in the turquoise, I sell it because I don't really like it. I know, I know, I know. Um, everybody loves it, but I'm just not, I'm not, that's not my jam. So, sorry. Um, my uh, daughter, I'm getting her collect, uh, starting to collect. She's 24 going on 25. Um, and she, <laughs> she's really funky and likes the, um, her kitchen's all in like the seventies vibe with mushrooms. I bought her the old fashioned mush mushrooms canisters. I have thrifted those for her. And so I started her on the, um, the Pyrex that has the mushrooms on it. That's in the brown speckles that everybody thinks is ugly. So I can find that stuff for her because most people hate it, but she loves it. So, um, I say that for her, but pretty much if it's not blue or green, um, or yellow, um, I, um, I, you know, I sell it and then it gives me more money to buy more stuff that I like. So anyway, that's a couple of little things that I've gotten. Um, I did buy this plate. Um, I love old fashioned, um, here, let me put it so you can actually see it a little better. Um, it's just, I like the floral. I was actually at a place a little, um, I actually didn't thrift this. Um, I was at a little kind of vintage shop, um, buying some actual, they actually sell the DIY, um, um, paint that I use to kind of paint different furniture and stuff that I do revamp. And, um, they had a deal that if you spend like a certain amount of money that they had the little stack of vintage plates and they gave you the plate for a dollar and I'm like, it's a dollar. So, um, I actually got me one and I bought a really cute pink one. Um, it's actually over there. I should have grabbed it. Um, little pink one with, um, roses on it for my pink friend, Ryan. She's pretty much all about the pink and I pretty much hate pink. So, um, but it's good cause we thrift together and we never fight over who's going to get this cause our, um, our tastes are different. So she's always pointing out stuff to me and then I'm pointing out stuff to her cause I know what she likes and she knows what I like, but we don't fight over it, but it's, um, it's pretty vintage. I don't know. It doesn't have really marking. It just has like a U on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of crazing, um, on it. So it's, it's old, but I just thought the colors were pretty and I can always find a place to put a little, you know, a vintage plate for a dollar. So I went ahead and picked it up. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, this I just got, um, I think last week, like Wednesday, look at this thing. It is so dang cute. So I have a white cat, um, probably in, if I do other videos, you might see her. Um, she is white with blue eyes like this one, and she is actually deaf. So I didn't realize when we got her that, um, I guess majority of white cats with blue eyes are deaf. So she is deaf. I mean, completely here's nada. So, um, but I love her and you know, but she's, you can't yell at her and you can't, you know, hiss at her and you can't go stop that and make her stop doing things because she doesn't hear you. So, um, <laughs> it's a little bit of a challenge, but anyway, I saw this and this is very vintage. It actually in the bottom says California creations by Brandy. No, Bradley. Sorry if I could. Um, and it says Japan. So here I can, oh, my little chain came undone. Yeah, it was loose in the store. So it just has like a little C clamp here, a little C ring. So I'll just, um, put it back in and then kind of clamp it cause it's got a little gap. So the chain keeps coming undone, but then it has a little baby. Look how cute he is. 
So this is very vintage. It's kind of all this is the the kind of bubble looks like fur kind of. Um, and it's just a vintage cute cat with um, blue eyes. And then how much did I pay for my little kitty? Sorry, guys, I have to. Oh, it was $3.99 for both for the pair. And I thought, well, heck. So I don't know where I'll put this cute little thing, but I had to have it. So um, I just... I just think it's really cute. So, um, I actually have a vintage um, poodle that was my mother's that has the curly um, kind of fur that's all um, in the um, where this is just supposed to look like short fur. It's it's little curls all around it, and it's my favorite thing. Um, my mom actually passed away a little over a year ago, but. Um, when I was a kid, it was my fave. I, I loved that thing and she would never let me touch it. And so, um, when she was getting, um, she actually moved into with us, she was getting to, to the age where she needed help. So, and I told her, I said, well, the poodle's coming with me. And she was like, I know you've loved that thing forever. So I might put my little white poodle with this little white kitty. I might make them best friends. I don't know. Um, maybe someday I'll do a little video of my eclectic house and you can see where I end up putting that little friend so um so this I got also um oh I got that also at Savers um I got this I go to Savers a lot a lot of people don't have luck there think their prices are too high um and, but I you know I just if it's too high and I don't want to pay it I walk away um also, you know, if you donate stuff, you can get um, a percentage off, which helps. So if there's something that I'm looking for that I think might be, you know, like a piece of furniture or something, um, I make sure that I have a donation so that, you know, that brings the price down. But most of the stuff I get, you know, it's not, it's not bad. So, and I got this, it's got a little bit, you know, it's got some damage on it. Um, lots, some scrapes, um, but, you know, it's Pyrex and um, this kind of, this size bowl, I use all the time. Um, I have quite a few of them in different colors, different patterns. I don't necessarily, you know, love the brown, but, you know, mixing up brownies, mixing up muffins, meatloaf, whatever. I, it just seems like this, I'm always going for bowls about this size, the larger bowls. So, um, but this was... Um, it was, they had it for $1.99 and then it was a green tag, I believe. And the green tags were 50% off. So I got it for a dollar. I mean, you can't buy a cheap plastic bowl at Walmart for a dollar. So I, it was a kind of a no brainer for me. So I went ahead and brought him home. He's, he's seen a little bit better days, but you know what? He'll get used around here and um, loved and then um, I might pass it on to my daughter because it would kind of go with her um, ugly brown <laughs> she gets mad when I say that with her um, ugly brown and oranges that she has in her kitchen but I'll probably keep it for a while because like I said I seem to go for these bowls all the time so anyway a dollar I kind of couldn't not bring that home with me so did get that these I actually got um, at a, um, I'll have a string, sorry, um, at the a little thrift store that is kind of a church thrift store near me. Um, and it's, because it's not a huge chain or anything, it doesn't get as much stuff um, donated to it. But um, I go, you know, every couple weeks, once a month. And so they've had time to get some new stuff. And I find some stuff there. Um and so I got this, someone, you know, someone crocheted that. And I just, my kitchen is kind of in lemons and yellows and blues and greens. And, um, I just thought, um, and it was the funny thing is I got this and then these, I don't know if this is knitting or crochet cause I don't do either one. Um, but, um, I got these at the same time. They're little pot holders. Um, I'm always, I don't know where my pot holders go and I'm always going to grab and then I grab a dish towel and the dish towels, you know, a little bit damp and, and then I'm, you know, my hands on fire. So, um, 
I saw these and I thought, oh, these are so, you know, someone made these and they're cute. These were um, 50 cents. <laughs> this was 25 cents. And then um, it was a white tag. And at the time, the white tags were 75% off. So the guy's like, I don't even know how to, you know, I don't even know what 75% off 75 cents was. So I think he charged me like 34 cents for these. So this I'm just going to use as like a trivet to, you know, put a hot um, plate on. Um, and then, you know, these will go in my cupboard so that I actually have something so I don't burn my hands with. But I just thought they were cute. And like I said, you can't buy, you can't buy, you know, cheaply made stuff for that cheap. And these have character and someone made them with love. And so I ran them through the dishwasher and they're all clean and sparkly and I will use them. So. I just, I think they're cute. So, um, also I got at that, uh, same shop, um, the, um, kind of, it's a, it's a Christian, uh, thrift store. Um, I got this, which I have a hard time finding vintage sheets. And I know a lot of people, I see stuff on YouTube all the time and they're always finding vintage yeah, you know, vintage um, pillowcases and sheet sheets and um, stuff, and I just don't have that great of a luck finding it. Maybe I just, you know, I just am not looking hard enough. But um, a lot of times, then if I do find it, um, they tend to be in colors that I don't necessarily want. Um, so, you know, I don't find them very often, and then when I do find them, I they're just not, you know, a lot of them. Like I said, are pinks and turquoises and that, and we have established. Um, not me. So, but I saw this and I just, as I cover up my face, that's probably a blessing. Um, and I just thought it was so pretty. Uh, you've obviously kind of can tell that I'm a yellow person. I like yellows and, um, but it's got the, um, you can see it's got the, the lace, um, across the bottom with the stripes and then, you know, oranges and yellows and greens and I just thought it was pretty and cheerful and um I'm actually I think don't hate me but I think I'm gonna cut it up and um make some envelope pillow um covers um sorry I look this way there's a little birdie out um by a tree outside and it caught the corner of my eye so I had to look um I, I sew. That's another craft that I do. I do sew. I do a little bit of painting, um, meaning um, kind of uh, craft paint, um, some oil painting. Um, I paint furniture, um, that kind of stuff. But I'm a big sewer. I love to sew. Um, I'm actually sitting right here as my sewing machine. This is my craft room. This is my this is my happy place. Um, so I think I'm going to make some, um, pillow covers, uh, and I do the envelope style. I don't know if, um, the back is, you know, overlaps like an, uh, um, an envelope. So that all you have to do is put a, um, a pillow form inside and then I can change them out. Um, more often plus, you know, you, they get dirty, my dogs lay on them, something happens, whatever. Um, my husband, you know, spills something on it. All you have to do is take it off, throw it in the washing machine, run an iron over it real quick, put your pillow um, form back inside, and you don't have to wash the whole pillow most of the time because a lot of times, you know, then you get up, you get a lumpy pillow inevitably. I don't know how that happens. But anyway, so I think that's what I'm going to do with this. I know that's kind of a... A little bit sacrilegious but that's what I think I'm gonna do with it and if I do um, or when I do I will show you guys um, how it came out and what I did with it so um, I also got these these are actually napkins um, but I think I'm gonna make um, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a patchwork um, thing with them maybe having the stripes go different directions and do the same thing, make a pillow cover. It's just such a sunny um, yellow and white, um, you know, stripe. I just thought it was, I just thought it was cute. And um, the pillowcase 
Um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Like I said, I had to run them when I, as soon as I get home in the washing machine, they go. Um, these were 50 cents for all three. Um, so yeah, there's only three napkins here, which, um, that's enough for me to, to kind of, even if I have to maybe back it, um, in another, uh, print or another yellow, um, I might match some prints. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I, uh, I have like, um, I have more fabric than, you know, anybody needs. Um, I have bins and bins and bins of fabric. So next to thrifting, fabric shopping is, material shopping is kind of my thing. So, um, I'm sure I have something. So I might do kind of a patchworky kind of thing, um, with these, but for 50 cents, I just, I couldn't pass them up. And so I, like I said, if I end up and when I end up making something out of this, I will show you guys. Um, and then the, I forgot to tell you the pillowcase, it was a dollar 50. So, I mean, I couldn't buy the material and the lace. Um, and it's, and you know, vintage, you know, anyone who gets vintage, um, pillowcases and sheets. I mean, they're soft and they're just, they're, you know, they're good quality materials. So yeah, that was a dollar fifty, and the napkins were fifty cents. So, anyway, that's what those are. Um, I bought this also at Savers. This is called a long burger basket, um, and the reason I know that is because it says on the back. So I don't know if you can see that, but it says long burger baskets hand-woven Dresden, Ohio, USA. And then it has someone's initials. I think it's the maker. Um, and it says 1996. So I just thought it was a cool, I mean, it's got the, you know, the kind of the nails through it, um, that have kind of got a little patina on them. And I just thought it was just, um, and this was 99 cents. Um, you know, it's hand-woven, stamped, um, and I just thought it was a cool basket. I, th I think it would be cute with maybe a couple pots in it with some greenery. Um, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but I just thought for 99 cents, it was just a, a cool little basket. My friend Ryan was making fun of me because she said, I didn't know people collected baskets. And I said, I have baskets all over my house. What are you talking about? You've been to my house. And she's like, I know, but I just figured they were Walmart baskets. And I said, no, I said, I'm, buy vintage baskets. I don't just, you know, not that there's wrong with buying baskets at Walmart, but I like, you know, and sometimes I paint them if they're, um, um, you know, do a dry brush or something. I've seen, you know, I've done that and I see a lot of people do that and I like that look, but I think I'm going to leave this alone. Cause I just, like I said, I just think it's, it's pretty and it's got some character and it's different and, um, so I don't know if it's called a burger basket because you actually put burgers in it, I would assume. I don't know. I should probably do some research on it before I talk about it, but I didn't. So if anybody knows why they call it a burger basket, you can let me know, I guess. So yeah, got that. Um, and then <laughs> this is kind of weird. Um, so I bought this. I think it's a little kid's like um, like a doll dresser. Um, this little drawer opens. It may not anymore. Oh, there it goes. Um, yeah, so this was 75 cents. This was actually, um, we have a, um, thrift store that's through, um, I live in Utah. I don't think I said that. Um, I'm actually from California, born and raised in California. Me and my husband and my oldest daughter moved here a little over, 25 years ago. So I've lived here longer than I lived in California, but I am a California born and raised. We moved here. Um, and then we had our second daughter. Um, so the thrift store is, um, called the DI or Deseret Industries. And that's, um, a thrift store that's through the Mormon church. I don't have to be Mormon. My brother has converted. He is Mormon. Um, but, um, he, um, 
anyway, the church is run by the LDS church. And their stuff has a tendency to be a little bit cheaper in some respects, especially for like little smalls like this, than savers. But you have to wade through a lot of stuff um, to find kind of the gym. Um, sometimes I feel like doing that and sometimes I don't. So anyway, I was there with my friend Ryan um, and I found this thing. It was 75 cents. And um, like I said, little drawer pulls out. I don't know if you can see that. So all of it was this kind of color, this kind, this plasticky, almost like a vanilla color. I don't know how else to describe it. It was ugly. Um, but I just thought the lines of it were really cute. And I paint, <laughs> I paint furniture and here's this little mini piece of furniture. So I just thought, I thought for 75 cents, I just thought it was cute. I, you know, like I said, I have a tendency, I'm a little bit eclectic and a little goofy in some of the stuff that I think is funny and, and charming, you know, other people will be rolling their eyes at, and that's fine. Um, so anyway, I bought this and I painted it and, um, put some gold, some gold accents. I don't know if you guys can see that on it. And I just think it's cute. So it's probably going to go somewhere in my house. And, um, if I find some little miniatures or, um, I, um, I actually have, it might even go in here because I have kind of a collection of um, vintage thimbles. And I thought that might look cute just sitting on the shelves. Um, right now they're just kind of in a kind of a vintage ball jar. Um, so it might be fun to display them on that um, and just put it here in my craft room. And I'll be the only one who looks at it. So what do I care? Um because this is my sanctuary. So anyway, um, I just thought it was cute and it was 75 cents and I slapped a little bit of, um, um, Debbie's DIY, uh, DIY, DIY, if I could talk, DIY paint on it. And, um, I believe it's right here so I can tell you. Um, yeah. in Hey Sailor. And then, um, I just kind of distressed it and then I did some gold, um, and that's actually, the gold is just um, kind of regular craft paint. I just kind of dry brushed over that. And so, anyway, that's what I got. I think it's cute. And I'll figure out something to do with it. So, um, and then I have kind of this stack of, I love, as you can tell behind me, I love art and pictures and frames and um, I'm kind of a nut about it. Um, we are, um, kind of in the process, starting the process of finishing part of our basement. Part of it is already finished. My daughter actually lives down there. So we have a bedroom and a bathroom, um, kind of little apartment down there for her. But, um, I want to do finish kind of the bigger part of it. Um, my kids and their um, husbands and boyfriends, they come over and we have game night, uh, usually at least once a month. And, um, there's just kind of so many of us now that my little kitchen area, um, it gets crowded. And so I'm going to do a game room down there. Um, I've done some crafts getting ready for that because we're starting that, um, in the summer, we've been kind of waiting for the weather to, to be, nice enough that, you know, while we're painting and stuff, we can open the windows in, in Utah and, you know, can't really do that. Um, unless you want snow in your house. So, um, so I've already been kind of working on some projects and I'll show you those. I can, I can show you some of those things. Um, but then we're also going to, I'm going to do kind of a TV room down there too. So it'll be kind of a, kind of a game room. I don't mean like video game room, more like with a table and, and kind of all of our event. We, I have a collection of, of games that is ridiculous. So we're going to have that. I'm going to have a counter and where we can have kind of munchies. And I'll probably have a, like a mini fridge down there and a microwave and, um, not a full kitchen, but you know, kind of a bar area so that we can all kind of spread out and we can go down there and I can get a bigger table and we can all sit around and play games. And then, I'm going to have a kind of a living room with a couch and, and uh, you know, big screen TV and that kind of stuff, kind of a TV room area in there too. So that we can have movie nights also. 
which we do sometimes. So that is what I'm thinking. So I'm kind of collecting some stuff to, as I see it, because, you know, in the thrift game, if you don't get it when it's there, then you don't get it. So I've been kind of collecting and working on some stuff so that when we do get it done down there, I have stuff for the walls. I know that was a long lengthy thing. Sorry. But anyway, I found this little, I love birds. It's another thing that I love. My youngest uh, daughter, her name is Haley. She's always like enough with the birds, mom, but I love them. So anyway, I saw this, this was $2.99. I don't know if you can see it, but it says on the back heart lake, um, heart lake. Um, but it's just a cute little kind of blue bowl with some birds and with a little blue bird sitting in it. And it says a songbird from the garden. Um, and I just, I don't know, it's got, it's got a butterfly and it's got a, like a dragonfly and it's all framed. I mean, the back's all done and it's kind of got a blue frame, which we've already established. I'm a blue person. So, I mean, for $2.99, I just thought it was really cute. So, I went ahead and picked that up. Um, and it will make a de debut sometime when we, if we get the basement done and down there, kind of more in the TV room type uh, area down there. So, I thought that was really cute. And then this one I love. Um this one was, um, this was $2. So I don't know if you can see this, but they're irises and they're yellow, but they're raised. I don't know. Can you see? There's like parts of them that are like raised up. So like they, I don't, it's hard to explain. So yeah. So it's like, um, Kind of like people do paper crafts, I guess, nowadays. I don't know what that was. Um, where there's the bottom piece and then they've cut the same piece on top and kind of put it on top of it so that it has some depth. And I just thought it was really cute. It um, says Robert Lassig, L-A-E-S-S-I-G, A-N-A. -S -S -A. I don't know what that is means but I thought it was pretty the frame was hideous it was um this was kind of that paper um kind of how they do like paper sometimes they do velvet but this was paper um and then it was an ugly kind of blonde uh, wood it was not pretty so I, I actually painted this with DIY um paint and, um, and then distressed it and the black wax or dark wax it that is. And I think, um, the color of the paint, um, is, oh, it's right here. Um, oh, it wasn't DIY. It was fairy chalk mother. Um, and it's called goodbye yellow. So it's fairy chalk mother paint. Um, and I painted that, that. And like I said, and then distressed it and put um, a dark wax on top of it to give it kind of some patina. So anyway, that's going to go downstairs too. Um, and I thought that was really cute. And like I said, it was $2. So um, oh, don't, don't want to knock over my Pyrex. So this, this was a gold frame that I just, I picked up. And it was, um, it was $2.99 at Savers. So it's, I liked the kind of the detail in it and stuff. Um, but the gold was way too shiny. So, um, I painted this in the haste sailor kind of whitewashed over it and then distressed it to bring some of the gold back through. I don't know if you could see. And then I have picked up some vintage, handkerchiefs in my travels. Um, I think most of these, I think this one over here was $2 and both of these were a dollar. Um, 
And so I just kind of starched them and put them, folded them and put them in here. And I just think they're, I just think they're so pretty. I mean, somebody, you know, stitched these and I just think they're beautiful. They're kind of little mini works of art. So, um, I, that's what I did with it. I think it turned out really cute. And like I said, it will probably go downstairs someplace, um, when we get that done too. So hope you can see that. Let's see, get a little closer. So, so that's what I did with that. And then this, I bought this frame and it's kind of, it was a, it was gold also, but it's like a bamboo type. So it's got the lines and the little knots like bamboo. And it was, it was $4.99 because it's obviously bigger, but same thing. Gold was just too gold. So I whitewashed this, um, and then dark waxed it. And that kind of toned down some of the gold. But inside is this vintage. Um, I love illustrations, book illustrations, vintage bird illustrations, um, fairy tale illustrations. I just love them. So I actually had bought this in a little pack. We had gone to a uh, market. Um, me and my friend Ryan and, um, a lady was selling some illustrations that she'd ripped out of a book. And I just really liked this one and it has all four seasons. So it's spring, summer, autumn, winter. And then I also love squirrels and, um, raccoons and foxes and that kind of stuff. So anyway, I just thought the illustration was super cute and, um, so I got this specifically to put this um, book page in and I just, I don't know. I just think it turned out really cute. And like I said, it will probably go downstairs also. Um, so, and I also, at the same time, this was in the same, sorry, don't want that to fall. I'll cry. Um, this was in the same, um, group of illustrations. And I don't see if you, but it's all, this one's all in black and white. But there's, there's a, like a, a deer and a raccoon and a little, uh, there's a squirrel right here. That's why I loved it. Um, that's like a little field mouse, I guess. And, um, there's an otter and a badger and just a bear and a por porcupine. I don't know if you can see that. So I had bought this frame. I actually got the frame. This one, I got it, um, the DI and it was a dollar and it was black and actually had a couple chips, um, it had all the detail, but it, it was chipped and a real shiny black color. And so, um, I got it for a dollar and I whitewashed this and then, um, also dark waxed it. And I just, and I loved all the details in it. And even, um, with it being painted, you can't tell if there's even some little chips here and there and it, it kind of just all fades together. So I thought that turned out really cute and, um, I'm going to put that downstairs at some point too. So, um, so yeah, I love that. And these are kind of, this is the, these were the other things that were in that. I think I paid $5 and she had like all, she had all of this together. So you can see it's got, you know, it's just different. It's from a book that she had pulled out. This one's like, I think would be really cute at Christmas. Look how cute this is with all of the animals in the Christmas tree. It's so cute. Um, this one says Peter Rabbit, a portrait. And it's got like a poem with all of the bunnies around it. And there's this one. And then, I mean, just, I just love them. I just love I mean, look at this, how cute. I'm probably going to frame that at some point, just with the the wildflowers and stuff. This one's got animals on the back. And look at this. How cute would that be for in the fall to, to um, frame up? And then there's one that says winter. And 
one that says summer. So, yeah, I I just thought that they were super cute. So I bought them. <coughs> excuse me. Thinking, oh, I'm going to be able to do something with those. So that's what I did. So anyway, I think that is it. Um, hopefully, I didn't bore you to death with all of my rambling. But um, I have lots of ideas of things that I want to show you. Um, kind of, do like I said, DIY, uh, DIYs and thrift hauls and, um, you know, just decorating things and sewing, um, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, um, like, and subscribe. If you have nice <laughs> creative cur uh, criticism for me, things that I can do better, um, I would love to hear it. Cause like I said, I'm new to this, so, um, be kind and, um, I hope you have a lovely day. Talk to you soon. Bye.